Hi, my name is Blair Critch, and I get asked quite often how I've been able to be successful in network marketing. And I'm here today to share with you exactly how I feel like I've been able to build up a business over the last six years and be able to make well over six figures every single year. My income has blown my mind, and not only because of how much money I'm making, I'm so thankful for that part, but there's so much more to being part of network marketing. You meet amazing people on the way. The people that are part of this profession are always so full of energy, excitement, joy. They have so much positive energy to bring, and I truly believe the reason for that is because of the time flexibility this has allowed them and the financial freedom. People who thought this could never happen for them, people who have maybe been part of other companies where they're working really hard for somebody else and never thought it possible to be able to have this for themselves. And now they are. Being able to go on great trips throughout the year with people that they really enjoy, be able to build teams and networks of people who are all not only enjoying the product that they're selling, but being part of their business along with them and seeing the joy and success in all of those people. The biggest thing that I know that I've been able to share with people when they say to me, Blair, how have you done this? And they, they say things like, it must be because you're outgoing. It must be because you love to talk to people. This must be why, because you are outgoing and positive, and that's why you've been successful, and other people maybe aren't. It's not true. Yes, those are some qualities that are great to have, but to truly be successful in network marketing, it truly comes down to consistent daily effort. Are you willing to put in the time? Are you willing to put in the energy? Are you willing to believe in something that's bigger than yourself on days when it is hard, on days when you need to have that Nike mentality of just do it? I have found that there are daily tasks that I must do in my business even when I don't feel like it. So I'm going to share that with you today. What are those tasks? I find that I have to reach out every single day to at least five people. Five people who I think would really benefit from the product that I want to share with them. Five people who could really benefit from the product and that I could truly share this with. Maybe I've reached out to them before. Maybe they've said, I'm not interested in that, multiple times to me. I still write them down in the log. I keep it very accurate so that I can go back and follow up with people and let them know about new things that are going on with my company, new things that are going on with the industry, and let them know because sometimes people say no, and when they say no, they're not really truly saying no to you. They're saying not right now. They're not interested in that right now. It's not the right time for them. Maybe they don't see a need for it. Maybe they've never heard of it before. Maybe they're frightened by it. People don't truly like change that much. So when they say no to you, that's okay. Write them down, write down the date, and follow back up later. So those five people that I'm reaching out to for the day might be new, or they might be people I've followed up with before. They might be people who are in my Facebook friends who I don't even know all that well, but I think that the product could truly help them. They might have hit like on something of mine on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, and I'm reaching back out to them this way. Whatever it is, I'm reaching out to five a day. Then the next step is I'm reaching out and following up with five people who are currently on or using my product. Why? Because I want to make sure they're loving it. Because if they love it, they're going to share it with other people. And guess what? The better customer service I can give them, guess who they're going to tell their friends to go to? Me. And it's going to build my business as well. So I always follow up with at least five people per day just with a quick text message, Facebook message, email, just saying, hey, How's your experience going? I'm so excited to share it with you. Then the next thing, so that's five new people that you're reaching out to, five follow-up, and then I make sure that I, I put three new people into my log a day. What do I mean by that? I mean three new contacts. When I'm out and about at the grocery store, when I'm out and about getting gas, when I'm taking my kids to their soccer games, when I'm going to work out during the day. You're in your community, I hope. I hope you're not just stuck inside your home by yourself all the time. And if you are, then you need to get out. Go walk at the park. Go do something. Meet people. Look at people in the face, share eye contact with them, give them a compliment if you truly have one to give them, and then share with them what you do. I know for me personally, I always have my business cards in my pocketbook, and I say something like this to somebody after I've talked to them for a few minutes. I might say something like, you know what, I think you would really love my vitamin supplements. They're non-GMO, gluten-free, they're all natural. I really want to share this with you. Here's my business card. Here's my website right here. Go check out some videos on there. Here's my Facebook information. Go like me and let's connect. Do you have a business card? I'd love to follow up with you in a couple days, see what you think about this. If they don't have a business card, that's okay. I tell them to friend me on Facebook and send me a message. That is how I build that new network. Do I always get three people every single day? No, but it's my goal. 
every single day. And last but not least, I'm making sure that I'm sharing at least one social media post a day on my Facebook and my Instagram. And if you use Twitter, you should be doing it on there as well. So making sure that you are reaching out to five people every single day, following up with five people who are currently on your product or using your product, putting three new people into your log so that you have those people to reach out to in the future, and then doing one social media share a day, posting something. It doesn't always have to be exactly about your business. It could be something about the industry. I am in vitamin and supplement industry, so I like to give people nutrition ideas. I like to give them workout ideas. I like to give them positive outlook on life and great quotes about the business opportunity that's part of this. Whatever it is, post something so that people will start to follow you and want to hear more of what you're saying. And it might just be the day that they're ready. So thanks so much for listening in. I hope that these daily actions bring you to the success that you're looking for.